Hello everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. We are miles and miles and miles into the past here. This is many months ago I touched this project. This is our Resident Evil remake and as you can remember it's our lovely camera system that we had set up and um, which I think works very nicely. The whole camera following you thing, I love that. This is a really fun project to make and um, uh, I realized something after a lot of you kind of, I had a lot of messages about this. I should have done this uh, donkeys ago, uh, but we did a level transition. And um, let me see if I can open up the map. Uh, it might be back in here. If we go to uh, main hall, save. And if we press play, I need to remember where, oh gosh, no, 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 no. That wasn't correct, was it? Um, where is the level transition? Maybe not this level. Let's try uh, Piano Room. That's better. So um, we have a transition. And um, when we walk into... Oh. <laughs> so when we go in here, if we press E, we end up in our hallway. However, pressing E, although this will bring me back to the, uh, this is the dining hall. Uh, I'm now not outside the dining hall. I'm outside the piano room. If I go in here, I'm now into the piano room. Uh, if I go in here and press E, I can't work that one now. Damn it. Um, let's try and open up the piano hall. The piano room is clearly not working. It's um, on none. There we go. We press E. Again, so we are now in the piano room. If I press E, I am outside the dining hall. Although I should be outside the dining room. It's because uh, we missed a little bit of code on that level transition um, part. And um, what we're missing is a uh, small piece of code that um, I'm going to bring up now. Um, because I took a screenshot of it because I couldn't remember it because it's been such a long time. Um, we missed a small piece of code. So, in our level transition, this is what we had set up originally. So, we go into the overlap box. We enable the input. When we press E, we get our current door ID and we open the level. Perfectly fine. Um, however, uh, so, one of the things that we didn't do was in here, in our level blueprint, the one thing we didn't do was get our incoming name of the player star. So if you remember correctly, if we go into the piano room, every player star has a tag, play, piano room inside. And if we click on this, it has a door ID, piano room outside, and it has the level name, which is the hallway. If we go back into here, if we do um, get game instance, uh, cast to re1 game instance, we can convert this to a pure cast. Uh, and we can uh, get door ID. This goes into the string. And that should fix the issue. We can copy this bit of code because we're going to need to do this for every level we create. It needs to know uh, exactly what um, world we're going into. So if we go here, we go to our... Um, I think the hallway would be the best one for a second. And if we go back up here and we open the level blueprint, you can see we have no incoming name, so it doesn't know where to send us. So it's setting our it's setting our actor transform to a random value in the fine player start because it doesn't know where to put us. That was where our issue lied. If we do this as well now for the dining hall, and we'll select yes, and we'll go into uh, open level blueprint. Oh, we don't even have anything in this one, so that's. That's really useful, isn't it? Okay, so now with that in there as well, 
we should, in theory, be okay. Um, the reason it still put us in the correct place when we load up the dining hall is because it's the only place that has a player start. So when the level loads, it automatically puts you at that player start. So we can now um, press play and give this a try. So again, we're in the hallway. If we go through here, we press E to go through. We are outside of the hallway this time. I'm just gonna, just to prove this is working, I'm gonna go back into the dining hall. I'm gonna go back out of the dining hall and I'm still next to the cone. I'm gonna do it one more time, just for argument's sake. And there's the cone. And we'll do this for the piano room as well. So that was what was missing, uh, was just the, um, the name valuable that was saved in the game instance coming through. That was the only issue that we had. But all working, cone is always at the end now. Um, I could do this a hundred times and it will always work now. Um, so yeah, so that was the only issue that we had with that level um, information. For a second, I thought we didn't have this information in the game mode, um, but here we are, we do have it. Um, that was my first instinct, but luckily it was something far more simpler and it was just that we hadn't put the level in the fine star of the level uh, blueprint which is here so you should have this little bit here uh, so that it knows which fine players start to find and like I said before you have names for everything so this player star is uh, dining room inside the one on the outside of the dining hall will be the dining room outside and then these level transitions here should should reflect that the door ID saying door dining room outside so it knows which place start to put you at uh, and the level it should load which is hallway hopefully this fixed that level transition issue that you may or may not have had from very long long ago and helped clear up some understanding behind how it works thank you so much guys for watching I will see you in the next episode much love take care bye